what is going on world i am the hungarian experiment and let's just get right into this now vegan gains regularly mentions in his videos how a high fat or a meat diet is unhealthy and can lead to clogged arteries and cause a stroke or even heart failure but what about his diet after watching several of his videos where he takes you through his typical day of eating, you can easily conclude that his diet is also unhealthy and can actually lead to fatty liver disease which is a serious issue in our society at the moment. Vegan Gaines' diet is very high in fructose with his 4 smoothies a day. Now you may think well it's just fructose, isn't sugar from fruit okay? Yes, it is, but not in excessive amounts. Sugar is actually made up of two molecules, glucose and one molecule of fructose. They are different and the body handles these differently. Glucose is an energy source that can be metabolized by all our organs in our body, including our brain. Fructose, on the other hand, is almost exclusively metabolized by the liver. So when you consume a sugary beverage, the liver is flooded by fructose. I like to call this the tsunami effect. As a result, the liver is overwhelmed and starts to convert this sugar to fat. All this excess sugar to fat conversion can increase our risk of fatty liver diabetes and heart disease. Now unlike how glucose gets used and absorbed by most of the body's organs and is spread around and shared by the body, fructose can only be metabolized by the liver. This is evident in our society when children and teenagers are getting diabetes and fatty liver disease by drinking these all natural fruit drinks with no added sugar. They are still getting equivalent amounts of sugar as most energy drinks, but instead of the whole body being able to use it, only the liver can process it and after years of eating this way, issues can arise. Now you can definitely say that this is not an issue because vegan gains or other vegans are using whole vegetables which contains fiber and nutrients and blah 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 blah. But just like how vegan gains and other vegans are making these wild claims and drawing these wild conclusions on people like Blogilates, saying that her meat consumption probably has something to do with her back pain. Um, what about sitting in a classroom for 8 hours for 12 to 15 years of her life? Maybe that was a factor that affected her back pain. You're just trying to draw any conclusion you can to make your side and your argument work. So the issue here is that as a vegan, on a high carb diet, you are overloading your liver and making it work harder than it would ever naturally have to if you had to eat all your vegetables and all your fruit to get in your caloric intake in for that day. Making these massive smoothies are just loaded with sugar and a high amount of both glucose and fructose, one of which the liver can only process. So in conclusion, a high carb vegan diet can be labeled as unhealthy. Now if you know me, you know that I think words are extremely important. I don't believe healthy is a word that we should be using as a society anymore. It's way too broad. We should be using terms like life longevity and disease prevention. As I've said in previous videos, I enjoy vegan gains and following along his life journey. He is important for humanity and this is what we need in the world. We need people challenging the mainstream notions and ideologies that most of us blindly follow in an attempt to be part of the group. We as this generation between the TV and the internet are in this delicate situation and we need to be careful with the words we use and how we use them. Vegan Gains makes a lot of claims about health, but what is considered healthy? Is it how long you live? Is it how well your organs function? Is it having a low body fat percentage and being muscular? Or is it about the fact that another being had to give its life for that food? So although I enjoy vegan gains, he seems to jump back and forth between the death of an animal and our health as a human. I am team people first. If I as well as others out there in the world can live an extra 10 years because during our 
teens and during our childhood we had a higher growth hormone output compared to someone who had a low growth hormone output their whole life because they chose to be vegan, then yeah, I'm gonna go with life longevity. A lot of the scientific studies done in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and most likely even today are being paid off and funded by corporations who have interest in the results going their way. Vegan Gains and I could both dig for days and days and we could find study after study just refuting each other. Until we have human experiments documenting all their different life factors throughout their typical day-to-day -day life and getting routine testing done on their bodies and then comparing all this data, we will never really know. So is having a high carb vegan diet unhealthy? It can be, most definitely. Especially if you're doing it like Vegan Gains is, coming back from a workout and having almost 300 grams of sugar for his first meal. 150 of that is probably fructose. 150 grams of fructose your liver has to process all within about an hour. And if you're doing this consecutively, day after day after day, it's just gonna be time before your liver shuts down. Do I suggest a high carb, all vegan diet? I believe that that kind of a diet can definitely be optimal, but it all depends on when in your life you are applying it and implementing it into your life. I believe that we as human beings need to be optimizing our growth and our hormonal levels as much as possible while we are developing. From when we are born till about age 25 to 30, we should be trying to optimize our hormonal outputs as much as possible. And then from there, I believe we need to be adopting vegan diets. Diets that don't spike our hormonal outputs too much. Diets that don't over flood our liver with high amounts of fructose. So definitely you can have a high carb vegan diet, but don't be making crazy smoothies. Eat all that food, eat it. Eat it within your whole day. But even then, you can't really adopt an intermittent fasting type of lifestyle if you have to eat 2,000 to 2,500 calories in four hours and you have to chew every single vegetable and eat every fruit. You do have to make it into smoothies, but then you're overloading your body. You're overloading it with sugar. So what is healthy and what is not healthy? Right now, we don't know. And this is why we need human experiments walking around this world. All right, well, that's it, world. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here today, maybe you learned something, you found it a little informative, then please go down and hit that like button. And of course, leave me a comment. Now, some of the clips from this video are from Vegan Gains' YouTube channel, and a couple are from a great documentary on Netflix that I really suggest you guys go check it out. It is called Sugar Coated. I believe this documentary is really great because it explains what happens to sugar when it's in your body and especially in a excessive amounts. And on top of that, they also discuss how during the 70s, there was a, a guy in Europe, uh, a scientist in Europe, and he was uh, doing all these studies on how sugar was bad. Well, the Sugar Association in the United States literally paid someone from Harvard to write fake illegitimate scientific studies just to refute everything he said. So these studies, all these scientific studies are still floating around out there and pr people are probably using them to back up their arguments. So we have to be very careful with the words we use and the studies that we look at. A lot of these studies in the past could have literally been done just to oppose an idea or to oppose a claim that someone was making and that they were getting paid off by corporations and the government. So I really suggest going to check out that documentary. It is absolutely amazing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I am the Hungarian Experiment.